today I want to talk to you about how my sketchbook informs the work outside of my sketchbook. So how the things that I create in my sketchbook get translated into my paintings. Now for me, I very rarely copy something from my sketchbook directly onto a larger artwork or canvas or painting. I find copying quite hard and a little bit restrictive. So I like to be able to paint with more freedom perhaps and not have to feel that I am copying something. Having said that, my sketchbook is absolutely the birthplace, the development lab, the place that I have discovered everything I know about my artwork and what I like in my own art. So I used to be somebody who was extremely critical of what I had created. I used to judge myself harshly. I used to think that my art wasn't good enough when I looked at it. And I would concentrate on the things that I didn't like or that weren't quite right. Over the last 10, 15 years, I've really entirely changed the way that I look at my artwork. So rather than looking at the things that I don't like or weren't quite right, I'm always saying, what do I like here? What do I love here? What do I enjoy? And so I'm mining my own creations and my own sketchbook for all kinds of clues about what I like in my own artwork. So how do I want my art to look and feel? And I can look through a sketchbook with, you know, page after page, and there's lots and lots of things that I can reflect upon. Colour combinations, the way I've created lines or marks, the way that different elements sit next to each other. So I'm always searching in my sketchbooks. I'm always looking for the things that are exciting me and interesting me. And, you know, the things that make me, oh, I really love that. That's what I'm looking for in my sketchbook. So because I've created a lot of things in my sketchbook it means that I've got quite a lot of resource to look through and to think about and then to understand my own art better. It means that when I come to paint I don't necessarily need to copy directly from my sketchbook. I've got a whole reservoir of knowledge around the kind of colours or the marks or the shapes or the feelings that I want to come out in my artwork. And I've discovered all of that through my sketchbook. So my sketchbook is like my development lab, my training ground, all the things that I know to be true that I like in my artwork have come through discovering and developing it in my sketchbook. And so therefore, when I come to actually paint, I don't necessarily need to have that exact image in front of me. Very often, things will appear in my paintings that I have created in my sketchbook. But it's not always a conscious, I'm gonna copy this from my sketchbook onto my canvas. It's more a kind of unconscious, it's like I've developed my own visual repertoire and language and way of creating art in my sketchbook and therefore it comes out in my paintings. So I just wanted to show you some paintings I've been working on this week and how they have been sort of birthed in my sketchbook but I didn't even look at my sketchbook when I was painting them. This is the sketchbook that I have been working in whilst sitting on the sofa being inspired by some of the things I can see in my living room, items that I have on our mantelpiece and I've been really enjoying the combinations of colour and pattern and some of the kind of zigzags and the red with the pink. I'm also really liking turquoise with the red so these are the drawings that I have been creating sort of recently and I feel like I've got a muscle memory for these drawings. So 
I'm really liking the big sweep of that semicircle, which is inspired by the mirror above our fireplace. And I'm liking the zigzags and the patterns. So I've created these pages in my sketchbook and they have informed these paintings. Now these are paintings that I'm still working on. They're not finished, but there is a very direct translation from my sketchbook to these paintings, even though I didn't look at my sketchbook whilst I was painting them. So I'm taking some of the colour combinations, the red and the pink, the turquoise and the red, the zigzags, some of the shapes, and I'm incorporating them into these paintings. So these were made with watercolour and pencil and different kinds of acrylic paint. And you can see there's kind of circles and lines and different shapes that you can see came from my sketchbook, even though I wasn't looking at my sketchbook as I painted them. That was the first one. And then these two are not finished, but I don't think any of them are quite finished. So I'm starting with big bold brushes and then I'm coming back and adding in more detail. So I'm taking inspiration from my sketchbook, the things I discovered about my own art making from my sketchbook and I'm bringing them to these paintings. I'm wanting that kind of joyful, exuberant combinations of colours and pattern and I'm hopefully trying to bring that to these paintings. And you can see that I've got the zigzags and some of the shapes are coming into these paintings. So it's just a really interesting relationship for me between my sketchbook and my, my larger artworks. And it's not a question of me copying, it's more a question of me being inspired by.